Good evening. Uh, my name is Jeff Day, and I will be the moderator tonight. And Lisa Hustis will be the uh, timekeeper. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, just a few rules. The, uh, the time for each question, which I will um, indicate uh, when, we, when we get to those, uh, is the maximum amount of time. You don't have to uh, obviously use that full amount of time. Uh, but please don't go over. Uh, we will let you know when uh, your time is up. We'll give you a cue. We agreed on 30 seconds. Uh, um, when uh, 30 seconds to go, we'll give you a cue. Uh, I would just ask that you uh, show respect at all times. And I, I think based on the dialogue we were having earlier, it doesn't sound like that's going to be a problem. So, so thank you very much uh, for that. Um, the, the participants tonight, we have Linda Corliss, Rob Harper, and Mike Latterer. And uh, Diane Morrill uh, was unable to attend tonight due to a personal matter. However, she will be providing answers uh, to the, the questions that we go through tonight, uh, which will be at a, at a point here uh, in, the, in the near future. And uh, they will be shown on the uh, Berwick uh, TV channel, BCTV. OK, um, we'll jump into the questions, unless anybody has, has any questions. OK. So the first uh, question tonight will be just candidate, uh, uh, not a question, but just an introduction. Uh, you'll have three minutes, and we'll start with Linda. All right, thank you. So my name is Linda Corliss. I live uh, up on Knox Lane here in Berwick. I am a lifelong resident. My family has um, a long history here in Berwick, going all the way back to my great-great-grandparents who lived up on Knox Lane. Uh, my parents raised five children here in Berwick. We all went through the uh, noble school system, all graduated. Um, after high school, I went into the military. Upon my return, um, I had my daughter, and I raised her here in Berwick. She participated in uh, Berwick recreational programs and then eventually graduated from the noble school system. Um, pretty much from an early age, my parents were very encouraging to be actively involved in civic things, from the Girl Scouts to the local Grange and doing community activities. And as my adult professional life, um, I've continued that tradition. I have a long-standing member, I believe around 25, 30 year member of the Patrons of Husbandry, which is the Grange, local Grange. And I had many leadership positions there. I am a member of the regional Sanford Springvale Rotary. Where we do a lot of uh, civic things around economic development. Uh, and I'm a long-standing member of the Baroque Historical Society, which um, I am the current treasurer of that. And I've been on the school board for about two years. So I'm uh, excited to be here, and I'm excited to, that we have a lot of people uh, in, in wanting to be on the board and engaged in our community. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Rob. Thank you. Um, my name is Rob Harper. I'd like to start off by thanking Burke television or our borough community television and our moderators here tonight and um, and I also want to thank the residents of this town for considering me for a position on the board um, my family and I live out on Long Swamp Road um, we're very happy to be here we've been here for almost two years now um, my wife grew up here in town and I was just down the road <laughs> um, but we decided to to plant our roots here and raise our family and we're, we're really happy to be here um, in the past, for community uh, involvement, I have been on local fire departments um, from a volunteer standpoint, um, involved in the associations associated with those departments as well um, in terms of community uh, activities and fundraising. Um, professionally, I'm a registered nurse, and we um, also have a small farm out on our uh, property. And um, you know, my past and pre present experiences have given me a skill set that includes you know problem solving planning being resourceful and working with a team which i think is really uh, important for this situation being with the board so thank you thank you mike uh, yes yeah, so i'm mike latterer and again thank you for bctv for being here and everybody putting this together for linda and rob being here tonight it's actually fun to 
be a part of a race and seeing people engaged in the town of what's going on. Uh, so I've been a Berwick resident for about 10 years with my wife, Sarah, and we have been raising two children. It is a town that anybody who knows my wife and knows me knows we do our research and wanted to be a part of. We wanted to be a part of the school system coming here when moving it. And it is a town that we just really wanted to see grow and be a part of. Um, <clears throat> professionally, I've been a retail store manager for 12 years, meaning that I've had anywhere from 15 to 30 plus employees that work for me that I've been responsible for holding them accountable, building team building, and being in charge of their development and pushing them along in their careers as well. Um, for volunteer work, uh, my family is always grown up volunteering. Um, I am actually currently on a board of directors for a nonprofit as a volunteer in all of New England. And part of that, that what we do is actually help issue grants to um, disc golf courses that are going into Parks and Rec. Uh, so having experience with working with towns, working with you know, EPA, and really trying to work with schools and develop how we can you know, build something into the community and be a part of that. Um, you know, in free time and just a little bit of downtime, my family loves being outside, you know, hanging out with my kids, hiking, going to the beach. Um, rec softball player and you know every now and then I still pick up my saxophone and just try to you know <laughs> decompress a little bit so again I'm just happy to be in this position and I thank everybody for the consideration thank you okay next question uh, there'll be two, two minutes for uh, responses uh, why are you running for the board of selectmen and if elected what will be your priorities we'll start with Rob thank you um, Berwick faces what many towns in Maine have faced. We were once a large factory town, and obviously that is no longer. Um, and we need to figure out how to regrow our downtown and its economy. I feel like that's the one of the largest um, issues that our town faces. And the town has started in the right direction um, from what I feel like. And I want to work at solidifying a successful and responsible path to take us there um, and working together with different parts of the town government and working with the private contractors to come up with a, you know, uh, an opportunity to create um, an amazing, what could be an amazing downtown while also you know, remaining financially uh, responsible with the decision making towards that. Um, I believe that as the board, our most important role is to represent the citizens of this town and make decisions for the town um, you know, with the, with the best interest at hand and making sure that we focus on that. Um, you know, my wife and I are here to raise our family and we love what Berwick has to offer and I want to be part of, you know, planning the future for that. Thank you. Mike? Yes, yeah, so as, as I alluded to, you know, my, I've always grown up in a family and, and friends and peers that have told us to give more to your community than you, you take from it. And as Rob said, you know, Baroque is starting to, to really grow and, and reshape itself as other towns in Maine have. And I really felt that this was a time that I could take my experience, whether in leadership or volunteer and networking, to really put myself out there in a spot that I can help really grow this town and help develop that. Um, what we're striving to achieve here, you know, <clears throat> you know, I, I think it's my time to step up and, and put that volunteer effort forward. You know, like Rob said, you know, it is definitely it's going to be a communication-based system. We need to talk to you know our vendor partners that are actually helping build you know the edge or the old prime building and really look out for our, our community and the businesses that are in here too. So and getting that information out to the residents that they're aware of and making sure that we're doing the right thing to keep Berwick successful, not in the short term, but in the long term as well, so that my kids can say that they're lifelong Berwickians. Thank you. Linda? Hi, thank you. Um, so I'm running because, well, I've been a lifelong resident of Berwick. Uh, I've tried to be engaged as much as I can, um, and I really believe in being engaged uh, in, in the town as opposed to just being that spectator. I'd like to see more economic development here in Berwick. We have a golden opportunity to revitalize the downtown. I mean, not many towns get that opportunity. Um, but in that process, I think there should be balance. I don't want to see um, I don't want to see Berwick lose that small town culture, that community. Uh, actually, I like to build on that. 
So my priorities are, are looking at economic development through the support of small businesses, be more welcoming to businesses coming into town, create local jobs um, that generate tax revenue that support the resources that we have here. Um, I want to promote community engagement uh, through events, election involvement, more people in law involved in the election process, and be open to more uh, citizen initiatives. People have some great ideas. Over the last couple of years, I've you know seen things exactly like you said in Vision Berwick, a few other things that start with a few community members who have an idea and they want to bring it forward. And I believe uh, the town government should be supportive of that and open and willing to listen to new ideas. Um, I'm also very supportive of a green community. So as we develop the downtown, as we um, add additional housing units and housing developments that we make sure that we don't forget, um, as we've all indicated, um, we enjoy some of the um, conservation uh, things out here. And so I want to see, make sure there's some open and green space in any kind of development that we do. And um, be more transparent through public communication. Thank you. Okay, the next question uh, will be two minutes for response. Question is, what do you see as the primary work of the Board of Selectmen? We'll start with Mike. So to me, what I see is, is actually really two things. And I think it's communication and, and accountability. You know, I, I think listening to some of my resident peers in, in town and some of the things I've seen is, you know, while the board and the town have done well at really progressing some things in Berwick, I don't feel like the town residents understand what really is going on or what that process is going to look like and what that benefit is going to be for us. So I think there needs to be a lot of communication back to the town, what the town's doing. That also means that we need to make sure that we're communicating with you know, the town planner, emergency response vehicles, Department of Public Works, that, that we know what needs to be done in town and how we can get that out to resolve that. And then with accountability, you know, Linda brought it up a lot. You know, there's there's growth there. There's things that we can do with Envision Berwick, and you know, Rob alluded to it with the downtown. Um, but it does cost money to put these things in place, and a lot of these things we do need. And but we need to make sure that our tax dollars aren't going to waste, and we need to hold those contractors and vendors accountable for that, and to make sure that we hold ourselves accountable. That you know, we can grow the town and have the growth that we're having, get things going up there, and not putting a bigger burden on the, the residents or the businesses in town. Thank you. All right, Linda. So I think the town select board has an incredible responsibility to oversee all of the general operations of the town and to work collaboratively with the town manager, setting not only um, immediate but long-term strategic goals. And in doing that, monitoring the development, um, whether it's economic or housing development, to sure, again, I, I reiterate what I said earlier, is to make sure we have a balanced approach. I'm all for economic development, but I see the role of the Board of Selectmen is ensuring that we don't go so fast that, um, that we overburden the resources that we have here, like water and sewer and whatnot, as we were the school district, that as we look for that growth. And then I also believe it's the role of uh, the, the uh, Board of Selectmen to be supportive in working with department leaders um, as they develop their strategic goals um, and hold them accountable um, for budgeting, funding, and ensuring that uh, they're using all of the town resources and tax dollars appropriately. Thank you. And Rob. Thank you. Um, as Linda said, you know, the, the primary function of the, of the Board of Selectmen is to, you know, manage the overall operation of the town. And I think what's key with that is communication throughout departments and ensuring that we see we see what the uh, ensuring that we you know make sure that the departments are working together and not you know create like doing the same thing twice um you know the cutting the waste making sure that there's not too you know there's not waste i with the downtown, it is an expensive project, and you know we know that going into it. But we don't need to make it, you know, more expensive than it needs to be. And I think that uh, you know the board really needs to you know, listen to its citizens and represent what they want and communicate 
you know, not only with the other departments, but with with the residents of this town. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next question, and there will be two minutes for a response. What do you feel are the most important challenges facing Berwick, and how do you propose to address them? We'll start with Linda. Okay, thank you. So uh, Berwick is facing, uh, again, I think we've, we've all identified it, a very rare opportunity um, to completely redevelop the downtown area. There's not many communities that have that opportunity. So the challenges that come with that is ensuring that um, we're putting in what the town needs and what the town wants, but we're doing it responsibly. We're balancing both um, what we need as far as economic development and growth in that sense to increase the tax revenue, but we're not also not going so fast as that we are um, diminishing or eliminating that small town character that everyone has sought to come to Berwick for. Um, and again, like Rob, I, I also feel the same thing is um, we need to ensure and sort of take a look to make sure we're not um, duplicating services, that, um, that maybe there's a way we can streamline through departments to use resources a little bit more um, um, effectively and efficiently. So if we are going to increase that revenue, that it gets used appropriately. Um, I see the town, I'd like to see the town grow responsibly. And I know I keep saying that, that word of, of balance, but I think that that is really the key challenge that the town is, is going to have is there are opportunities there. We can all see it, um, and it's wonderful, and it's exciting, um, but we just need to, to make sure that we um, don't lose sight of the original characteristic of why we, why we chose to bring up our families in Berwick to begin with. Thank you. Rob? Sound like a broken record, but <laughs> I feel like the biggest, you know, issues that Berwick faces is the, you know, the rebuilding of downtown and and making sure that we we do what you know the town people want and what we need here, um, and not taking maybe the the easier route with just putting in you know housing after housing and and really trying to develop a downtown where we can have the economy with small businesses. Um, you know, it's awesome being able to come down here and go to Corner Point or, you know, if you need something from Devin Dukes, having that right there. And I, I want to see more of that down here and I want to help develop more of that small business. And in turn, that will increase the revenue for the town and take some of that burden off of the taxpayers in the future. Thank you. Mike? Well, one thing I like is that all three of us are on the same page. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you know I, I think Berwick has what I call the good problem. And, you know, the good thing is it, it is that town that people see as a destination and, and we want to raise our families. You know, when, like I said, when, when my wife and I came here, this is a place that we said we were, we were doing it and, and it was it. This is, this is our house and this is our forever home. Um, but with that comes growth challenges. You know, as more families want to come in, it, puts that burden on the school system. You know, Linda's probably seen that firsthand right now this time of year. Yeah. Um, you know, it's gonna put more onto public, onto public works of what we need to do, water supply, um, sidewalks, roads, you know, and then it goes right back to, you know, the downtown area. And it is a huge, you know, challenge that we're gonna have over not just the short term, but the long term. We need to make good decisions now that will, yes, get us through the short term and, and clean up the quote-unquote eyesore as you come into Berwick from the New Hampshire side. Um, but we need to do it the right way where that we're not paying for this for a long time or our kids aren't paying for this or we're putting that burden on, on the businesses in town because we do need to make sure that we do it responsibly where businesses want to come in here and, and be a part of it. You know, we can't just put something up in downtown and say, oh, they're going to come here because if we spend too much as residents, then we're going to put too much of a burden to actually attract anything in here. And, and I think that's the challenge and, and navigating through that and, and working with, you know, the towns and all the departments and making sure we're on the same line is, is the best way to go with that. Thank you. Okay, next question, and there'll be two minutes for a response. What differentiates you from the other candidates? And we'll start with Ross. Um, <laughs> I, I think that's what's great about the board is it is it can be made up of you know so many different people with so many different backgrounds. Um, you know I am I haven't been here as long as others and I hope to be here just as long. Um, I love this town. 
Um, I think what I bring in, what I bring to the table is a new set of eyes um, who, you know, I haven't, I, a dangerous thing is being, you know, doing something the same way over and over again because that's how we've always done it. And I think that I can bring to the table a, a, a new opinion, a new, um, just a new way to look at things and move forward with that. Thank you. Thank you. Mike? Um, the short answer is I have an unhealthy obsession with corny puns and dad jokes, and I don't think either of our <laughs> other <laughs> candidates will admit to that. Um, no, um, but, you know, it's, it's tough. I, I think, you know, as, as residents, I'm fortunate enough to be up here with, with two peers that are just as driven or want to put the time in that they see a benefit in, in the town. But what I can talk to is, you know, if I, if I don't know an answer, you know, my history's always been, I'm going to ask those questions and I'm going to get, get that why. I'm not afraid to, to hold others accountable while, while asking the questions to seek to why we need to get to an area and, and understand it. And I love the network and, and communicate and give that back to, to my peers and, and to the residents in town that, you know, if there's anything that there is a question, if I'm fortunate enough to be a part of the board that with, I'm going to try to get that answer and get that into the best interest of, of everybody and what we need to move forward. And whether it's, you know, yes, you know, a, a family in town is, is Rob's that's shorter or, or a family in town is, is Linda's that's been established for years, we're going to try to find a way to make that balance for all of us to be one community. And, and that's, that's the long-term goal. Thank you. Linda? Okay. Uh, so I am the outliner. I am a lifelong <laughs> resident of, uh, of the town. And um, although I do ag agree with Rob about having a fresh perspective, I also do think there's value in bringing a historical perspective and seeing where the town has been um, over several generations. I'm excited about where it's going to go, um, but I really don't want it to lose that character by going too fast. Um, I bring 20 years of professional experience in human resources and business management, the last eight years working at the county level. So I'm familiar with uh, budgeting and union negotiations and overall perspective of government operations. I've served on the school board for two years, um, so I know what the needs are uh, of the school. Um, and I, I think I bring a fiscally responsible approach to budgeting, but yet I also think I'm very socially conscious. Um, I believe we need to take care of our citizens, whether they are senior citizens or young families or people just moving in. Um, so we need to not only just provide um, the required or minimum services that are necessary, but we also need to provide engaging services. We need to have that vibrant downtown. We need to have, par we need to have parades. We need to celebrate who we are. Um, and so people say, well, that costs money. Yes, it does. So that's why I see that as being, being yes, we don't need to splurge, but we need to bring our community together um, so that when we have um, events like we've experienced over the last year, um, you know, we are already a collective group together. So thank you. Thank you. OK. Uh We'll now go into uh, a, a candidate's final remarks. There'll be three minutes, and we'll start with Mike. So again, um, my name is Mike Ladder, and I just want to thank everybody for whether you're tuning in, if you're being here, BCTV again, putting this on. Um, I want to thank Rob and, and Linda for being here and, you know, really putting themselves out to and, and doing what they feel is, is best for the town. You know, there's, we're, at a pivotal point in the town where I think there's a lot of good that's that's going to go on and there's a lot of good in our future. We're seeing a lot of, you know, groups, um, grassroots groups starting to get into volunteer coalition again and we're seeing that out there. You know, I, I think this is just the first night you'll probably see the three of us kind of either getting out there a little bit or, or chatting. Um, and so for the next few weeks, you know, please make, make sure that if you see one of us, ask us questions. You know, for tonight, it's kind of a little bit of, of get to know us and, and what we're at. And 
But if there's something that I think for any resident that they want to know kind of how we lean or, or maybe in detail a little bit more of what we feel about something, I, I think I could speak for myself and, and you know, my, my peers up here that, you know, ask us, this is what we're here for. This is what I'm here for. You know, I want to make sure that I represent the town well if given the opportunity. I want to make sure that if given the opportunity, I represent my peers, my neighbors well. And, you know, Berwick's a great place to raise a family. And I want to make sure that with our planning and what I bring to that, that we have a sustainable future, that this is going to be a successful community, you know, for years to come. And I thank everyone for their consideration. Thank you. Linda? Thank you. Um, so if elected, I'd work collaboratively with the town manager as well as other town officials uh, and citizens develop a long-term plan um, with clear strategic goals um, that are communicated effectively um, at different levels, because I think we've all agreed that it's kind of a, a key thing here. Um, again, uh, encourage everyone to get out and vote, whether it's, you know, by um, absentee ballot or or by coming in on the day of election, it's really important to uh, be engaged in your community where you're, you've chosen to live in Berwick. So be engaged, have your voice heard. Um, looking around, just listening to these two gentlemen tonight, uh, I think it is just um, phenomenal that we have two open positions and four people running. That shows that there are committed citizens who want to be engaged. So at the end of the day, at the end of the election, um, it's going to be a win-win, uh, no matter who comes out of it. So, um, but again, like Mike said, um, I'm sure you're going to see us around. Feel free to ask any questions um, that you may have. And um, thank you for the opportunity. Thank BCTV for the opportunity to, you know, get our opinions out there and who we are so people can make an informed choice before they go to the poll. Thank you. And Rob, thank you, and you know, thank you for having us and uh, putting this together. And thank you guys for coming down. This has been fantastic. Um, yeah. Like you said, the involvement is is incredible. Um, you know, I'd like to think that one of the uh, best parts of this country is that we get to vote. So don't forget to vote on June yes. 8th. <laughs> yes. um, you know, it's our civic duty to do so, and I, I feel very strongly about that. Um, like Mike said, like if you see us in town, just stop us and ask us a question. Um, I do have a Facebook page um, that you can look up and send me a message or reach out to me if you'd like to get some more information. Um, and I just appreciate the, uh, the consideration for the board. Thank you. All right. Well, well thank you very much. Um, I would, uh, as uh, has been mentioned several times, uh, encourage everyone to get out and vote. Um, and... Uh, um, there are um, absentee ballots as, a, as an option. I would like to thank all of the candidates um, for uh, being here tonight. You did a great job uh, answering the questions and, and uh, uh, I think, you know, being very uh, succinct in your responses, but I, but, uh, um, I, I thought you, were, uh, you, you did, a, a, did a great job. And it was also um, really good to hear as, you know, a, a town's um, resident that there is a lot of commonality. It makes the, the decision uh, making process a little bit harder, but it, you know, it's nice to see that there's, a, there's a, some uh, common goals that you, that you have. So, so with, with that, uh, Patty, is there anything else that we should be doing? All right, I would say thank you very much. Um, just a reminder, this will, will be on BCTV. Uh, so uh, um, please avail yourself of that option. Thank you. Okay, thanks. thank you. Well done.